converting a vacant lot into a community park. That was the idea for one neighborhood group in Detroit. As our Alicia Bergio shows us, the group is several steps closer to accomplishing that goal. Earlier this year, this park on the corner of East State Fair Avenue and Anvil Street in Detroit did not exist. In fact, it was nothing but an eyesore of vacant land. But because of the help of many volunteers and neighbors, though, it's now a space where those in the community can come together. A lot of blight. People were dumping on the site itself. It was overgrowth with weeds, trees, just an eyesore. What was once an area of land full of junk and debris, now a glimmer of hope, a space for people in the Mohican Region Residents Association neighborhood to gather. $9.60 in pop cans. Wow. <laughs> it was such an adventure, getting together, working together as one. Just seeing it come to fruition was Great. With the help of the city, grants, and donations, the association was able to buy the eight lots that make up this property. Throughout the summer, hundreds of volunteers got their hands dirty to clean up what is now a community park. We were able to put in a flag. We put the benches in over here. We've got tables. We're going to do even more because, again, it's going to be a sitting park, and hopefully we're going to have some events over here. George Preston even proud of this fresh walking path and the fence installed around the park. It's a good feeling when you uh, sit back and look at what you have achieved in terms of where, uh, where it was and where it is today. Though no comparison to the eyesore it used to be, Preston says neighbors still have plans for this new neighborhood hotspot. That includes a mural representing this community and other unique features. What we want to do ultimately is put an emblem here in the park. And this is going, it's going to sit on this mound, so we're going to clean all of this up and uh, it's going to put the Mohican Region emblem across the front here. A park with purpose. We want it to become a gem in the community, so that's what we're working toward. Reporting for CBS News Detroit, I'm Alicia Bergio.